There is no light without dark. Did you know that over 85% of people get pregnant when they do not use contraception during intercourse, meaning the remaining 15% actually would remain infertile if they were to not use contraception during intercourse? That reminds me of a story. I once had sex. Now, I'd like to ask you, the listeners, an interesting and intriguing question. Have you had sex today? Maybe it's sandy, sunny, maybe you're in a galaxy far, far away, somewhere where you feel comfortable, calm and collected. Welcome to the Triple Stack Podcast. AKA the sex pod. <laughs> the number one pod in Slovenia and in your hearts. We've had it guaranteed as well from our civilian listener and he's asked to come on as a guest. So we've pretty much made it. We will be doing a, a 10 minute we don't we haven't organized this but but amara or amzara i forgot his name um <laughs> amara, i think it's amara zan i'm not looking at my phone right now so he's probably going to tell me off this he can confirm though there's not any slovenian dishes he's a big fan of he um he does like pizza yeah and he likes ice cream but he said you can't get that much out there yeah he said they only do like the bog standard ben and jerry's oh it was so cool hearing from him because it's like where did it even come from that we got in the charts? And then to hear from an actual Slovenian, it's like, this is sick. I wonder what the ratio of Slovenian listeners to UK listeners are then. <laughs> if, we're, if we're in the Slovenian charts, they either Slovenian people don't listen to podcasts that much, or we just have a shitload of followers in Slovenia. Probably going to be the first, but I'm going to pretend it's the second. I'm going to pretend that we are the biggest hit in Slovenia. And like we said before, ages ago, I can imagine them because I always imagine it to be like a Swedish type place where they're like in a brick house with like yeah. fire <laughs> and they're all sitting around the TV on like leather sofas, all cozy with a cup of tea and then triple stacks out. Let's listen. <laughs> mom, 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 dinner, dinner, bring dinner. We're going to listen to triple stack. And then like three stories. So like the nan and granddad are up the top and then the mum and dad and then the kids. <laughs> I wonder what Slovenia's like. I've never actually been there. No. I wonder well, what the climate's like. The what? Climate. I do not know. Amara or Amzara, if you're listening. Oh, Slovenia looks wow nice. Does it? Yeah. Wow. It's got like a big river running through it. Kind of like Amsterdam. Oh, uh, have you been to Amsterdam? No. No, that's it's it's nice there. Obviously, they've got all the um sex museums and weed and brownies and shit, but it literally sounds like I was born there. <laughs> the sex museums are so weird, like you feel like a massive perv. <laughs> I am a massive perv. No, I'm joking. <laughs> we get cancelled saying things like that. Um, I do want to go though. I'm going to have a look. We need to record a pod out there. Oh, it looks sick. Right? Doesn't it look really nice? Looks a bit like Rome as well, almost. Oh, yeah. I like it where they've got all the sea around it. Yeah. I've never actually, um, I've never been there to, um, to Rome either. So there's another one I may need to go to. I've just got to go to all these fucking places. What's your favourite country to visit? Or do you not have one? UK. No, I'm joking. That's um, definitely a lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely a lie. Uh, I do love America. Yeah, it's I cool, do. isn't it? Yeah, I, I really, it feels like really familiar in a good way, in like a way. Um, I did really like Thailand though, actually. Like Thailand was proper, proper nice. I can't wait. Um, to but I do like America because I like going to like the different supermarkets uh, and like going to the cinema there I like doing shit I do here but in a different place and it's like all kind of like novel and you're like oh this 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 variation of monster <laughs> I love that there's like it's crazy because you look around and you're just like I always remember I've probably said it before when I went there as a child I ordered pancakes for breakfast and because in, in England it's like you get your pancakes and then the, the honey or syrup or whatever on top and in America they brought out this plate of like a stack of pancakes and a pot of syrup. Jeez. Yeah, they do everything like bigger and better sort of thing. I think that's what I like about it. I think it's a really familiar environment, but it's just like everything's like 
stacked. Like it's just a bigger version of everything. I was watching someone's YouTube video the other day and they were like in American supermarkets and they're like, we don't have it. Like the variety in England just sucks. Yeah, we're so used to it. It's just all basic. When you see like a new flavor of jammy dodgy, you get excited. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're bringing out the Halloween pumpkin ones. Oh my God, there's a blueberry jammy dodger. Yeah. <laughs> America, it's just like that's year round. You just get that all the time. Yeah. yeah. I just was gonna... out there at the moment and he was like, what do you and Matt want? And I was like, probably for me, Reese's. Oh yeah. Because Reese's are Reese's. Oh, and then good. Matt was like, any version of cereal. Any version of cereal. <laughs> like one that the UK does. Like I was in Aldi earlier. It's like, you can have Cocoa Pops or Rice Krispies. In America, it's like probably like, you can have blueberry vanilla rice snaps. You can have Cocoa. It's like everything over there would just be so much more. I'm actually buzzing to go because I go in two weeks. No, two, not two fucking weeks. Two months today. Oh, do you? Yeah, I go two weeks after we get back from Poland. Oh, sick. With your uncle again? Yeah, 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 yeah. We go on, uh, yeah, Saturday the 19th of November we go. Oh, really? Yeah, for 14 days, I think. And what's the plan? Just have it. Yeah, we're going to get over there. I think we arrive um, like early there to, or mid-afternoon because our flights at, say, 9 a.m., which is like an eight-hour flight. Um, so then that would take us like 5 p.m. our time. So midday their time, we'll basically get there. Oh, that's perfect. Um, but it'll feel like 5 p.m. our time. But the plan is literally, because it's 14 days, obviously get all the parks done, get Universal done in that time. Or we'll probably just take one day a week where we we just chill out. But we normally have like a bit of a morning routine when we went last time where we'll uh, we'll go to the, it's not 7-Eleven. It's all, I think it's called a Speedway petrol station, um, which is just near one of the Disney parks. We go there and I like stock up on some um, one bars, the protein bars, the oh yeah bars. Oh yeah. Stock up on them, and then we always get like a monster each as well. <laughs> so. I was saying to Matt when you had your protein bar the other day on your live you did with him, I was like, that sounded so good because it sounded dense. It was dense. <laughs> it was like chewing fucking blue tack. <laughs> I love that though. The flavor's really good, and like I said, I have them because they sit better than a typical protein bar because they're more, made of more just like oats and dates. Um, and then like protein powder mixed in into like all the artificial sweetener and stuff uh, and artificial fibers. Um, so they do sit really nice in your gut, but like um, the, the texture's just, you get the oats. Like, <laughs> Is the fiber quite high as well? Yeah, yes, but it's not from like, because it's not from polyols and stuff, it's not, um, it's not too drastic. So it's not got like artificial fiber in there and stuff, but it's, I think it was like seven grams or something, which is just expected because it's oats and dates and stuff, isn't it? So um, yeah, some protein bars are like 15, 20 grams. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like you get those ones that are like 20 grams. And I remember I used to have like two protein bars a day at one point, along with say 500 grams of veggies. So like, you know, five would have been around like 50, 60 grams. Oh, yeah. In off season, I remember I used to get up to like 80 grams. I was like, I probably need really? to. Really? Yeah. When I didn't really, like, I'd look at fiber, I wasn't that fussed at the start. And then when I started looking at it, I was like, shit, I'm on like 80 grams a day. Yeah. Cause some, cause I spoke to a few people about this. Cause some people get on well with like a, a lower fiber. And, you know, you got that whole carnivore community, which pushes like a no fiber. But, I've always found like around 30 to 40 grams for me is probably like a really nice amount of fiber. Yeah, I normally um, say to clients between like 20 and 40. Yeah, I think it's a nice, I think it's a really nice range. Like, again, I've had like in the past where I used to eat a shit ton of broccoli and it would be like astronomically high. Uh, and then that causes issues as well because then you just get blocked up. But like, I've reintroduced broccoli, like tender stem, and it, it sits really well at the moment. Really, really nice. Uh, on the stomach so um that has come back in mate i'm still doing the like i said in the live with matt the other day the whole pack of wine gums intra workout <laughs> fuck me the pump <laughs> <laughs> on my peak week plan tom's put 100 grams of harry bow throughout the day i'm like oh oh hello because it will be two i'm gonna have two meals before because i'm on from nine so it's gonna be a meal at half five meal at half seven which is rice cakes jam and peanut butter and then 
a Lucas Aid Sport and Harry Bow throughout my time mm. on stage. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. I really for digestibility, I really recommend um do you know what, mate? Stay right there. I'm gonna show you the packet right now because they are elite. Elite vibes. You wanna get these. And I can always bring you some actually, because I'll be there. Haribo baller bites. I've never heard of these. Yeah, they're new. They're um they're like, you know, like Haribo, they're quite like takes a while to chew them. Yep. But these are just like really easily dissolve in your mouth. So you're che- they're kind of like um like a Malwam texture. Oh. Yeah, they they just they like disappear in your mouth really easy. That's why I haven't like I did try and do some other sweets the other day, but I was chewing them for so long in between sets. I was like, I couldn't get through them. Whereas these, they're just oh, they go down so easily. Can you send me a photo of the packet? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that after. Just... And I'll forward it to Tom and say, are these the show day sweets? The ball of bites, they're super good. They're so if you're having 100 grams, that's 80 gram, 82 gram of carb. Delicious, delicious. Ooh. How many grams do you get in a packet? Uh, 140. Oh, nice. So, yeah, this whole thing is 110 gram of carbs. Oh, that's yeah, why, that's why I had intra today. Um, so that's been good. That's been good. And then instead of doing my full session, I was like, I'm going to carry over my arms and delt work to tomorrow morning because I'm off all day tomorrow. So I was like, you know what? Instead of doing a long session today, I'll do a nice hour. I'll do the rest tomorrow. It'd be beautiful. Oh, yeah. It's bank holiday, isn't it? Yeah, I normally work. But um, I was like speaking with clients and like just people in general. And I think from a... And I was saying to someone the other day, like, you know, the, the, the whole thing hasn't impacted me that drastically because I've never been exposed to monarchy. Like yeah. I wasn't brought up uh, like following monarchy or anything like that. So, you know, the whole thing for me is from a personal point of view, hasn't really impacted me. I think it's sad, obviously, for like the country and stuff. And I was just going to work bank holiday hours. But then having like spoke to people and from like a public perception point of view, it was like it may be if everywhere else is closed, like even supermarkets are closing. I was like, it probably is best to not work and just carry the work over. So I'm just working more Tuesday than I normally would instead. Yeah, I'm, I'm the same. Like, it doesn't really affect me, but I can see why people are doing it. There's only one gym open in this area. Really? The whole day? Yeah, so we're going to obviously train there. Um, yeah. It's a gym that we might join because we, we're not enjoying Nuffield anymore. So we're going to take a take a new new gym, which is more of a bodybuilding gym. So that'll be oh, okay. Yeah. Well, what, 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 um, like from the field are you not finding enjoyable anymore? Well, a couple of things happened, my friend. Story time. <laughs> Story oh, time. <laughs> the first thing that happened was so I posed in the studio and I posed in the changing room one day. And then one of the sales ladies came up to me when I was on the step up and she was like, Can I just borrow you for a minute? I was like, Yeah. Is it about posing? Because I thought it's bound to be about posing because. Like we've said before, it's like away from the norm and people always have to say something. Yeah. A load of aqua ladies have complained that I was posing and they found it offensive in the chain. I was like, okay. So I was like, it's no problem. I'll go in the studio then. And she was like, oh no, I think you've got a really good body. I think it's good what you're doing and trying to like pacify me. And I was like, look, it's fine. Like I don't need you to yeah. Skirt around it. And then she gave me a list of the times the studio was free. So a few days later, I went in the studio and there's a Pilates class after. And I was in there doing the posing and the women kept poking their head and I thought, fucking hell. Yeah. Then like five minutes before the allotted time she'd given me, the women started coming and putting their mats down. So I went out and the Pilates instructor came up to me. She went, are you allowed to do that? And I was oh, like, God. yeah, I've got a list of studio times. I'm a member here. Oh, um, you shouldn't really be wearing those high heels in the studio. I was like, they're made for stage. They're fine. They don't mask. Oh, right. And then she walked into the class and was like, nothing to do with me, ladies. I was like, oh, for God's sake. Yeah, so- it's that. I think, I don't know. I've found recently that I just, I think everyone's very sensitive and abrupt. And I don't know what it is. I think, I think everyone's. Maybe since the lockdown, who knows? I think there's definitely like a passive aggressiveness just in general around everything. It's, it's strange. It, it really is strange, you know, like things like, I know someone's basically said to, 
to someone about me before and it's no issue but they've been like oh that <laughs> that Joppa guy is quite unsociable isn't he is, is he rude I was like dude I just wear headphones in the gym being unsociable I just ha- have headphones in <laughs> then this type of behavior makes you want to be unsociable yeah 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 exactly like you know when I if I see someone I know I smile like it doesn't mean I stop for a full con- but most of the time I do stop for a full conversation I take my headphone out and I hey how are you man like everything good and and um, I think it's, it's super weird. Like I've had someone, um, someone I know, like, uh, so on Instagram, you can request to un- have someone unfollow you, right? So okay. if I didn't want you to follow me anymore, I could basically turn your following of me off on Instagram. And someone I know has requested me to unfollow them. I'm like, what did I do to offend this bitch? <laughs> uh, it got worse as well. So I, I avoided that time and then... Went in the studio another time when it was free for like three hours and the general manager came in. He went, can't really pose in them shoes. And I was like, I've had it confirmed by the sales manager, the fitness manager that I can pose at these times. He said, all right, well, those shoes, can I have a look at them? So I took them off. So I bashing them on the floor and I was thinking, they're 120 quid, mate. They're my shoes. Like, and then it was just me and him in the studio and he bashed him like eight times. And I thought, if he carries on, I'm going to fucking lose my shit. But I thought, just stay. Swing. Swing. Yeah. And he was scraping them to make sure they didn't make marks. And he went, all oh, right, they're OK then. And I was like, OK, so can I be left alone now? You know, is that all right for me to praise? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, yeah. fine. So that was like the third thing. And then me and Matt were in the gym and we were just finishing up. And he walked over towards us and he was like, can I have a word? And then zoned oh. straight in towards Matt. And I was like, okay, so he's clear. Like he wasn't making eye contact with me looking at me. And he said to Matt, I don't think it's appropriate that you two show public displays of affection in the gym. Oh no. I mean, you are very public affectionate, but tell, tell me the, tell me the, tell me. <laughs> Matt was like, so has this been reported as a problem? And the man was like, no, I just, I'm just not sure it's appropriate. And he was like, what are you saying isn't appropriate for me to kiss my girlfriend in the gym? And the guy was like, well, yeah, because it, you know, it might offend people. And he was like, but has anyone said anything? He said, no. And Matt was like, so who's saying something? He said, well, it's coming from me. It's my opinion. And I thought, you can't say it's your opinion. Because that's not like as a general manager. And I was just like, shit. And, and then Matt was like getting more and more agitated. And I'm thinking, oh, fuck. And he was like, so can I have your manager's name and number them? And the guy oh. was like, yeah, the guy was like, I'll give you my email address. And Matt went, I want his email address. So he sent him a video and an email. And then we heard back from them saying, like, basically a tick the boxes email back. And then we're just going to say, can we have our month's membership back and then join another gym? Because it, like, we just feel like everyone's fucking starting. Yeah, it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I, I think I've, I've found as well. I don't think people like other people doing well or being happy. I, honestly, maybe I'm looking into things too much. I'm an overthinker, but the more and more it happens. I've, all, I've always found that people are very judgmental of how happy someone is or, or you know, um, I don't know. It, it, it's a weird one. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, the, the whole some people have an opinion about people po- the, you know putting pictures on instagram with their shirt like i've had a i think an ex client says me before they're obviously an ex client now for a reason um you know like uh oh like um i don't know if i want to be seeing you in your underwear on instagram jordan i'm like well don't follow me like it's not anything wrong yeah but like, i'd understand if i was there like holding my dick and being like and putting like the fucking aubergine emoji then i'd totally probably understand that but if I'm there, like showing off, like fitness progress that fucking everyone does anyway, yeah, it's like what what is the issue? And oh. it's just like looking for something to moan about, isn't it? Yeah, and it makes you, like I said earlier, it makes you want to be unsociable and make your yeah. circle even tighter because you just think I just don't need the neggy vibes, and then we can't help but just feel a little bit like it's a bit hostile there, and I just don't yeah. want like yeah yeah. Like, yeah. So- I actually had a really good chat with um with Tilly C. Colombo about this. I love how I said, we have to say her full name, Tilly C. Colombo. And, you know, she was saying that she doesn't have a lot of kind of fitness people uh, around her, so it's quite nice to speak to people in that sort of vibe uh, about things in regards to fitness. And it is very true because I think to a lot of people, they may not 
understand it, which is absolutely fine. Like you don't have to understand something, but you also then can't pass judgment on something because it isn't familiar to you. Yeah, for sure. Like I feel like that's with the bodybuilding, like because we're doing something different, it's almost like people are like, well, who are they? Yeah, yeah, this 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 is it. it it's uh it's almost like people are afraid of unfamiliarity and anything outside the the normal thing. Like, <laughs> this is a, my my nan asked me a funny thing the other week. Uh, I was having some I was when I was ill, I had some stomach issues. She was like, Oh, do you do you think you think your stomach issues are from all that all that diet stuff you do? I was like, What eating vegetables and fruit? <laughs> I, was, I was like, You think that's oh, giving that. me tummy ache? <laughs> 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 um that. but that's not that's not any salt on my neck she's the best but uh um but it's just an example again isn't it? it it's it's something you're you're not exposed to or unfamiliar with uh it's almost like a passive judgment on that subject yeah it's unfortunate that it's got to be like that but yeah i just now like it doesn't but sit with me or bother me but i just think i don't want to be around it so we might as well move gyms yeah, yeah and the other thing is this is a conversation i was having with someone earlier is I'd fully understand if someone had a problem with me, if I had done something uh, malicious towards them, right? Where they had a reason not to like me. Um, like I was saying about this friend who, who removed me off Instagram or, or blocked me or whatever. And I was like, I'd fully understand if they don't like me. That's absolutely fine. But, you know, if I'd, if I'd done something malicious towards them, then I, I'd like to know because I don't think I have. Yeah. Um, because it's just not the way I operate. But and then it's like, well, what have I done to really piss that person off that they don't want me seeing what they post on Instagram? Yeah, and then you don't want to overthink it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, which I've already done multiple times today. I've already overthought the entire thing. And I was like, should I just message them and be like, hey, have I offended you? Yeah, I mean, in I sort of would want to do that. But then I sort of think, oh, can I be asked? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This, yeah, 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 yeah. I think my, my issue is I have such a, such a guilty conscience um regarding anything like, i remember i used to go on nights out and when i used to get drunk and i'd almost like try and retrace the whole night and be like did i say anything that potentially offended someone <laughs> that entire time yeah because you want to be liked don't you it's not very nice yeah it, it's it's but like i said like i understand if someone didn't like me like i don't think you you know you can be liked by everyone i, I don't think that's like accurate at all but 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 like I, I if it's for no reason then I'd be a bit like oh like I don't like upsetting people so if someone yeah. doesn't like me the first thing I do is like well what have I done to upset you and if it's yeah. oh nothing I just don't really like you it's like oh okay <laughs> thanks mate yeah yeah, 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 yeah exactly <laughs> Tilly sent in some sick questions did she should we get rolling with them oh yeah Oh my god, I was dying. So the first one was I've got to find them, but one of them was <laughs> if you could choose, was it? Did she say snack or if you could choose a snack that was two hundred twenty pounds to <laughs> eat, what would it be? A snack that was two hundred twenty, as in like price or weight? Weight. Ooh. So I said to Matt, I would choose a Reese's butternut cup because they never get boring and imagine having a massive one of them sitting do we have to think do we have to think about like logistics here like would it melt would it well because I said oats but then you'd have to keep it hot and that would use up a lot of electricity mm. um bum, bum. good do you know what I'm gonna say a white chocolate salty peanut carb killer Oh, 220 pound one. <laughs> because if we kept it room temperature, it'd be fine. Oh, Can't God. supply of protein. You may have your guts fucked up a bit, but you know, I can deal with being on the toilet. You might have a bit of congestion. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go Reese's butternut cup and then I, I would carve a seat out of it and sit in it Ooh. and then take bites of it. Oof. Oof. I'm hoping I can get the questions up because they were there and now they're not. Lactic did show me how to do this, but I can't mate. Remember. So what you got to do is you got to go into your story archive. Yeah, but it's not showing. Ah, oh. there is there is a way, my G. There is a way. How how? So I'm gonna talk you through it. Now this is one for the listeners in case you're having the same issue. Yeah, so I've, got the, I've got the story up that I did. 
Right. So once you're on the story, all you need to do is click on the three pictures of people who viewed it. Yeah, but there's no one there because it was too long ago. Uh, so this is where it you gets need pretty. to go. You need to go into here, click on your profile. Yep. You need to go for the three lines in the top right hand corner. Yep. Click on archive. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. And it takes you to story archive. Yep. And then what I did last week was from there, I literally just clicked on the story where the questions came in from. And then, yeah, I just clicked on the three people and they were there. Yeah, there's no people there. And we'll go back to it. Now, click on, once you're on that, click on more. Yep. This is a bad example. Click on more and then... Um, shit, I didn't know how to do this. <laughs> I did it the other day. Oh, TSP. Yeah, you click on, is it click on more? Oh, I don't know. No, do you know what, mate? I don't know. I actually don't know. Oh my God, we've got to find it. What it's if good. you go into home and then you click on the love heart in the top right hand corner? Home. And then you scroll down. So yeah. click on the, click click on the love heart, heart and it should give you all your notifications. Too far away. Oh, when was it yesterday? No, it's a couple of days ago. Oh, oh my God. What are we going to do? Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Good God, we've got to find it, G. That is unfortunate. Listeners are like, what are you guys doing? Come on. Yeah. Oh, wait, if I delete notifications, it lets me. Oh, hello. Might be on to one here, G. <laughs> Come on, you can do this. Oh my god! Oh my god! Where are you? <laughs> I remember that question because I was like, I know what I'd do here. <laughs> Poor Tilly. All she wanted to do was ask some questions. Yeah. Oh my god! I know what the top three is, but <laughs> oh my god! I fucked it, Bissy. I fucked it. It's all right. What did Lactic ask? He asked three questions as well, but... Oh, you can't find them? No. Oh! Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Why didn't it let me look? Oh, my God. Instagram, what are you doing to me? Why aren't you letting me look at these? It's all good, mate. Don't you stress. Have you got any questions, G? I didn't do a, <laughs> I didn't do a question box. Oh, no. Okay, let me ask you some questions. Favourite burger place? Favourite burger place? Hmm. Do you know what? I did go for one. Oh, no, it was one in Portugal. I can't remember the name of it. It was in Lagos, for anyone who's going to Lagos. Lagos. And it was when me and Big Dean ordered three burgers between us. I remember this. Oh, God. The... Oh, they were so good. There was one that was like... Grilled chicken, avocado, roasted peppers, and cheese. Then the and pesto, and then the other one was like pork, bacon, chili jam. Uh, I think like some sort of vegetable in there. And then the other one was like beef, bacon, cheese, relish, and oh my god, came out like smoking. Like there was smoke literally coming off them because they were like smoked meats. Oh. oh. It was fucking, and then they brought out like three rounds of chips as well, which was an absolute delight. Oh my God. Chip. Yeah. And then we rode up a hill though, and there was mad indigestion. I will tell you that because mm. we rented some bakes, mad indigestion. What about you? Red dog. Red dog. Where's that? Oh, there's one in Southampton and there's one in Soho. I went to Southampton one. My mm. God. I think I've probably said about it before. We had mozzarella sticks and oh. chicken tenders to start. But these, was, these were like mozzarella sticks on steroids. Oh. They were massive. Oh, my God. And then the burger, we had a buttermilk chicken burger and then a beef burger, mozzarella, peanut butter sauce. That like, is mad thing. Mad thing, mad thing, mad thing. So fucking good. Have you gone anywhere immediately post-show that you're going to aim for, food-wise? Um, well, I always like to have a burger, so 
depending on what show I do last, hint, hint, um, we will have a look in the area for some five stars. Will that be determined by how next Sunday goes? Yeah, and then the potential show after that. Cool, 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 cool. Well, I'll be getting a subway next week. I've already, already guaranteed it. You and Tilly? Yeah, I've said, I was like, look, I want a subway that day. She's like, there's actually subway there. I was like, fuck, fuck. So uh, I'm going to get me the old foot long. I'm going to get a lemon drizzle cookie. I'm going to get a Pepsi Max with it. Oh, my God. Oh, goodness. Oh, I've just remembered a question from Kendall. Can you make me one of your blondies that is, was it, it was something like Christmas cake flavor or something. Mm, Christmas cake flavor blondie. Mm, we had so would, it be, would, it, would it be like the filling of like a, a mince pie maybe mm, what are you saying on that uh i think it could definitely goes well with the blondie and i really like christmas like pudding um i think you can make it work i think if you had like a small almost like a fig roll layer going through the blondie of christmas pudding fig rolls uh, remind me of lizzie oh yeah she does love fig roll. i've never had a fucking fig roll Oh my god! In the air fryer when she did him in that, we were like, "Goodness, can't cope." What? Yeah. What? What's? Is it pastry or a biscuit? It's like it's probably a mix of the two. It's like a. They look like you know those um, Viennese biscuits you can get with the chocolate in the middle. Oh yeah, they're like that size. It's obviously not shortbread. It's like a cakey type bake, like the Bavita bakes. Ooh yeah, with like a date paste in the middle. Oh, it's dates in them. It's like, well, it's like... Oh, a, dates. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I love that. I was like, there's dates. And I was like, they're called fig rolls. Fucking hell. I was asking Alex, Lord, who listens, my friend, about top three. She gave me this week's one. And she said she'd already recycled some of the ones we did. So she said sandwiches. And she was with, I think it must have been her kids, but <laughs> they were like, Marmite sandwich, cheese sandwich, tuna sandwich all the ogs and then they were saying about chinese takeaway but i haven't had a chinese for so long have you oh do you know what i think that is a good question though because i do love a chinese he said something in black bean sauce oh yeah so i so when i first met katie so her parents have a chinese every friday and have them for the last like 15 years or some shit like that um so I started going around on Friday nights when I wasn't working Friday nights because I never used to work Fridays. Um, and I went around for Chinese, but I always, without fail, would go crispy shredded beef. Um, and then I have like a bit of egg fried rice uh, and then like some sweet and sour chicken balls. Oh my God, I remember having sweet and sour chicken balls back in the heyday. They're actually so good. Like they're and trash it. food, but so good. Is the crispy shredded beef the little bits of beef with batter on? Yeah. They're like, like it's sometimes you're like, is this even beef? Because it's just like crunchy. Yeah, because they, they put like a sliver of beef in the middle. Yeah, literally that. And it's just like chili batter, basically. Oh, it's so tasty though. Oh, ho, ho. You just like dog shit after a Chinese though, isn't it? Yeah, like one thing I've really learned is to like pace yourself with the Chinese because you can feel absolutely terrible after. And dehydrate, you're like, yeah. So now I like when I when I have other Chinese like for a free meal before, I literally just eat as slow as physically possible, uh, and then as soon as I get like a little bit full, I like stop and then just hydrate to fuck. Yeah. And then um, I seem to be all right though after that. I think it's very easy though to go overboard with the Chinese and just keep eating for the taste. Yeah, because it doesn't really fill you up like other foods do. No, 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 it doesn't. It's all that fucking like oil you have to digest after. Yeah, I remember I went to an all you can eat one once and when, then we walked for like an hour and a half after. We were like, do we need a fizzy drink? Do we yeah. need like, something sweet? But, and you don't know what to do with yourself. You almost feel yeah. over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's literally how I fucking... Like, I, I do always have sleep issues though after eating the Chinese. Yeah, you wake up like... And yeah. just feel him right. Mad. Absolutely do I need mad. To poo or do I need to be sick? Yeah, it, it literally is that feeling. I, I mean, if I was going to go top three items from a Chinese, for me, it would be crispy shredded beef, sweet and sour chicken balls, and then lemon chicken. 
oh yeah lemon chicken listen to this voice note she's it's so funny she's like sorry that was a bit much on the voice notes but <laughs> oh just like it this made my day which one was it and also we've done pizza toppings oh pizza pizza toppings yay <laughs> why don't we go on a different angle and do like what's your what's your top three alcoholic no yeah but they don't because it's but what is your top three class a drugs to take at a rave <laughs> and i was only, like we've done that there is only one answer yeah we've already done that because <laughs> remember joe did that as the top three when he was a guest he did yeah oh yeah he did bloody hell yeah yeah we've answered that one haven't we we've probably fucking covered most of top threes at this point this um, is chinese. what's the best what is it top three sides that are chinese Anything Chinese? What's your top three? Oh, completely, mate. Good choice. Salt and pepper chicken. Yeah, that is a good one. Yeah, I quite like beef, beef and black beans, beef and black bean sauce. I've never had that. <laughs> beef and black bean sauce, and then the sandwich one. This was funny. Cheers. No, <laughs> it's mine. Look at yours. And then second. Second would be a white bread cheese sandwich with ready salted crisps or marmite crisps because you've got to have that crunch with the cheese. Hey, man, marmite and cheese. Yeah. Marmite and crisps. Yeah. Yeah. And then I would have a tuna and cucumber mayo sandwich. I've tried to explain what the top three is. <laughs> no one understands what I'm asking them. They're just giving me their top three of fun. <laughs> I don't know. I'm currently on top three. Being used in English. Yeah, I can't speak English, but I'm trying to get everyone in the sun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, what would you ask me if you aren't saying, oh, what should you what should you should articulated correctly? All right, yeah, so I can't yeah, articulate. God, Mum, articulate correctly. God. You just have Marmite and Chris. No. Marinated beef and tomato. I on it, though. Sun beef and tomato. Yeah, anyway, you, yeah. <laughs> I no. don't. That's her children, or if she's at her work salon when she's saying it. Anyway, yeah, go. <laughs> How funny! I forgot there was Marmite crisps. What are your What are your top three celebration chocolates? Oh, mate! So when we stayed at Lara's for my birthday in April, we had this. So we had yeah. celebrations, and we were like, right, top three. So I was like, Maltesers is the top because in the celebrations they are so good, so good. No one else chose it as their top. Then Galaxy Caramel and Galaxy have got to be in there because they just bang. And then I was having this conversation with Matt. Mars bars and Snickers, they're both elite. Yeah, they are fucking. Yeah, I prefer a Snickers to a Mars. Yeah. I think my top three in no particular order would be Bounty, Malteser and Galaxy Caramel. Galaxy just bangs, doesn't it? Yeah, it's. Uh, I just love a Galaxy Caramel. So good. The caramel is like velvety. Oh yeah, smooth. So good. Smooth rubber. Got all the different heroes. Roses. Roses are pretty wank, aren't they? Roses are wank. Um, what ones do I like? I like celebrations. Do I like quality streets? Mm, the triangle is quite nice. Yeah, I think the roses are the worst though. Mm. I think it goes celebrations, heroes. Quality streets and roses. Yeah, for sure. I always, yeah. I always get them at Christmas, and I'm like, I don't really know why I've got all of these. Yeah, yeah. It's like trying to plow through them Christmas day night. Just keep, just keep showering away. Yeah, it's like I don't need to eat, but I'm walking past the celebrations tin. Yeah, I find that Christmas dinner just writes me off now. Like I'll eat Christmas dinner, then I won't eat a proper meal, like for the rest of the day. And we eat at like 12 and I'm just there like, well, I'm just going to live off the celebrations now for the rest of the day. Yeah, because we used to have pudding after and the year before last, I said to everyone, I was like, can we have pudding in a few hours? Because I just don't feel the need to have yeah. pudding. And there's normally a selection of three or four different puddings. Yeah, and, we're the same. Yeah. And I'm just like, can we just let this digest for, you know, four yeah. The only thing I do like is like cheese and biscuits. But again, it depends like how much the dinner writes me off. Yeah, because it's so rich. Like when we had Christmas last year with Soph and Tin, Tin brought like three or four camemberts from M&S because they were, oh. on, and he ate a whole camembert. And then he was like, 
where's the Wensleydale and Cranberry? And then I was like, this has got to stop. And then Sophie gave me a present. It was a Reese's Snowman. So I ate that. And I was like, this is Yeah. Didn't you work out Christmas Day? Yeah, we did like a garden workout. (laughs) We were like, we need anything to give us some appetite here. You are mad. I actually... um, Did I work out last Christmas Day? I can't remember. No, I don't think I did. I think I tend to... I think I walked last Christmas Day morning. I just went, like, tried to get all my steps in, like, first thing. Yeah, um, I do. Yeah, I mean, it felt really nice, actually. I don't normally eat breakfast Christmas Day either. I just, no, like, I don't. I can't yeah. understand when people do. I might have a shake, but... Yeah, I just the thought of it. I'm just like, I'm going to eat in, like, three hours, and it's going to fuck me over for the rest. Not fuck me over. Like, I'll be good full. But I'll be, like, really, really full because a load of veg, load of taters. Yeah, but some people have, like, a fry-up. Yeah, that's mad. Okay, well, I mean, if you have a big appetite, I guess it's not mad, but I fucking can't do it. It's fucking mental. Oh, the other day we were in Tesco and I was like, what the fuck is that? It was a like a Caramac Toblerone. Oh, yeah. So we got one for after the show. I don't hoard, as you know, but I was like, I don't know if these are limited edition and we can't risk it. So you're like, I need to try this. Yeah. Oh my god, it's gonna be ridiculous. I love toe blowing because it's so big. It's dense. I love getting to the bottom bit where all the nougaty stuff is. It's so satisfying. Oh, it's it honestly bangs. Mm. Monica bangs. What are you saying about perform at the moment? What are you on? I haven't had protein powder in ages, mate. Haven't you? No, no, no. Like, um, I've just been replacing it with like um Instead of a protein powder, I'll just have like chicken breast instead or something. Um, only because I just haven't ordered any. I've just not been lazy. I just every time I'm like, oh shit, I need to order some whey. And then I'm like, oh, I forgot. And then I just keep forgetting. But Home Bargains do Battle Bites Protein Bar. They have their own brand of protein powder too. Oh, do they? Yeah. And in there, it's like a kilogram for like 15 pound. Mm. And I was like, compared to like paying all the prices, like what even, even like my protein now charges so much fucking money. I know, right? Oh. So I was like, I'm not paying. I'd rather just eat meat, like on the side of whatever dish I'm having. Yeah. Even if it's poor. I actually messaged Perform and said, I'm looking at starting a little baking business. Is there any collaborations we could do with your way? Because we love it. And they messaged back saying, we'd love to collaborate with you. I was like, Jop's going to lose his shit if I get That's to collaborate sick. with Perform. Perform is banging. That's the thing. Imagine a protein bar. Oh, mate. Do they, do you say, imagine if they had protein bars. I bet they would bang as well. Yeah, so they were saying I could create some recipes and then collab with them. I'm like, I've hit the big time here. That is fucking sick. Protein goods. I mean, your, um, oh, what one of your things, though? It was, what I think it was the blondie. What yeah, one, what the, the blondies yeah. have in them? The Biscoff one. Yeah, 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 yeah. They were. And then didn't you do like a dark chocolate thing as well? Yeah, so I did a dark chocolate blondie, but obviously it's more like a brownie, but not. You need to try the brownies, the Mars bar brownies. Matt was like ridiculous. Um, And then I did nut bars. And then I did um, the date and oat bars with a layer of dark chocolate. Yeah, they were were really good. The, but the blondies were my favourite, but I love a blondie so much. Matt's going to get me a custom-made cookie pie for after the last show. Oof. Have you fucked with one of them before? No. Nor have I. No, I only ever see them in people's like post-show vlogs. They look fucking so cool, don't they? Yeah, 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 yeah. they just, again, dense. Mm. Forget your bloody shit density days in the gym and get on a cookie density day. Oh, I love a leg day, a fasted leg day into like an off-plan meal. Oh, Ooh, I've never done a, a, a fasted leg day into an off-plan meal. Because you get your hunger, obviously, and then you're like, oh my, like having an all-you-can-eat carvery or something after, fucking bangs. Oof, oof. I remember when I used to train first thing uh, at school, like at the age of 16, or, no, probably would have been 18, actually, end of sixth form. We used to like train first thing. Just did like a, these like body weight workouts at 7 a.m. before school started. And I remember there's an all you can eat buffet breakfast over at the travel lodge near the school. And we used to just like train fucking hard for an hour. 
like shitload of fucking body weight volume and then like go over to this like we can eat breakfast and just plow through so many goddamn calories but like 10 quid yeah literally that was it and then for the rest of the day at school we'd be like ah we're full we're satisfied and we didn't have to pay too much yeah that's it that school life easier times that was oh yeah i think back to when i didn't know anything about nutrition it was such an easy life yeah, I used to eat a lot of um, a lot of cheese. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I used to eat a lot of cheese, a lot of southern fried chicken breasts. <laughs> what one meal we used to have all the time was southern fried chicken breast, rice, salad cream, and salad. Oh. Yeah, like chicken rice salad and salad cream. It was delicious. Oh, oh as a child, it was always turkey di- dinosaurs, smiley faces, and beans. Oh, yeah. That bangs. That bangs. Apparently, my favourite meal as a kid was sausage, mash and broccoli. Oh, you liked broccoli back then? I did like broccoli back then. My nan said it was uh, all I ever wanted for dinner. She was like, what do you want for dinner tonight, Jordan? I'd be like, sausage, mash and broccoli. Oh, I love it. That's such a hearty meal as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember she used to try and feed me liver, though. Be like, it's good for you. I'd be like, fuck, I'm not eating it. I'd rather not have something that's good for me, thank you. <laughs> I, I've got a horror story, actually, before we do top three about tender stem. So I thought, I'm going to get back on the tender stem. As you know, I'm a fan of broccoli. And um, oh, yeah. I, I got some frozen from Iceland, put Ooh. it in the Tupperware to take away with us. And then it defrosted, ate it. It tasted like like gone off seawater. Oh. It was terrible. And I was saying to Matt that we did our top, fr- like, top three worst experiences of food last week yeah it was very very bad so now i'm like i don't know if i like broccoli anymore what the fuck you just gotta buy the more expensive fresh version haven't you yeah not the way it's gotta go mate yeah so the top three let's let's play out the voice note from alex and do it from there (laughs) oh my golly okay so this has gone on to a right tangent we're now weighing to top three foods of all time but we've just discovered that we would quite like to know top three jacket potato toppings oh i like that one that's good i thought that was quite a vibe to be fair yeah um cheese and beans would be that's one of mine (laughs) um tuna mayo and would you have the jacket potato cold if you're having it like that or still hot nah still hot okay oh yeah tuna mayo um and then oh i don't know oh do you know what egg mayo yeah see because it's the tuna mayo with the hot jacket is quite a nice contrast but then i was thinking egg mayo but i don't know how that would be something hot i did used to have a cold jacket though if i was doing egg mayo Mm, well i wonder if we could like make something based on our current palettes of like having some Oven roasted peppers, some onions. Mm. Oh, yeah. Some like Mediterranean veg. Yeah. Some beef mints. Some, I've seen like, the places what, they have like tikka chicken. Yeah. I, my, oh, they used to do like, um, we used to go to this cafe a lot and it had like coronation chicken. Oh. Yeah. I think that stuff's proper nice with the raisins in it. And oh. Yeah. Anything with fruit mixed in savory is delicious. Dried fruit. Oh. Yeah. Before we sign off, I've got one more question on that note. Do you fuck with Peshwari naans? Oh, absolutely, mate. That's the only naan I fuck with. That is so fucking good, aren't they? Yeah, it's like the only naan I ever get. So good. But some of them, when you go and it's got like filled with the coconut, you're like, oh my God, this is going to be like a thousand calories for a naan bread. But I'm in, I'm in. I love a korma as well. Oh, yeah. I just love the co- Indians just so good. The combo, of the bread and the meat. Yeah. I normally do like a chicken korma and uh, and then a naan. I, d- I always skip the rice though because the rice is just too much otherwise. And we have rice like in off season, we have that most days. Yeah. Like I like to just dip, dip the naan in the korma sauce and then eat the chicken. Oh. Oh, good God. What a good about- God. Good God. Well, we, um, couldn't find the questions, but anyone that listens and wants to resend them, I will screenshot them this time because Whoop. Instagram failed us. We're going to take that. Yeah, Instagram. We're blaming Instagram, people. But until next week, my friends, we hope you have a lovely week and 
Jop and I will be reunited at the Arnold's in one week's time. Oosh, oosh, oosh. Is, um, is gymnastics uh, Josie Lloyd going to be there? I don't know. She hasn't said. We maybe need to get her to message us and let us know. Plan. Yeah. So we love you, our people. We do. <laughs> Peace out, A-Town. Bye. A-Town. <laughs> bye. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs>